stem cells and orthopedics. Stem cells will help the tissue that are injured or damaged to renew and regenerate itself. Depending on the local atmosphere, the treatment, and the medium, the stem cells have the ability to become different types of cells, such as bone cells, cartridge cells, or blood vessel cells. The condition where stem cells are used in orthopedics are a vascular necrosis, arthritis, and non-union. This is a picture of normal blood supply of the femoral head. When a vascular necrosis happens because of the blood supply is diminished to the femoral head, there is death of a segment of bone, would be necrotic bone in the femoral head. You can inject the stem cells to revive this area after drilling the necrotic femoral head and injecting the stem cells. In joint arthritis, it could be used. For the hip, it's not proven. For the knee, there is some use for cartilage regeneration. The best use of a stem cell in orthopedics are for the treatment of fracture non-union. A non-union is a fracture that doesn't heal after a reasonable period of time. The hardware may break or there may be excessive motion at the fracture site. This fracture needs help. Two elements needed for the treatment of a non-union. Vascularity, which means you improve the local condition to facilitate healing, and stability, some sort of Rigid fixation, such as a rod or a plate. Common causes of non-union is smoking, five times more common, diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis. Unstable fixation, infection, but the most common is open fracture and severe displacement of the fracture. Options available for the treatment. Number one, bone morphogenic protein, very expensive. Two, iliac crest bone graft, you will find donor site morbidity. You take pieces of bone from the iliac crest and put it at the site of the non-union. Three, stem cells. You take the stem cells from bone marrow aspirates from the iliac crest. This is the best site. These are uh, simple tools to uh, take the bone marrow aspirate from the iliac crest. We use fluoroscopy both for the iliac crest and the extremity. Uh, you can harvest the marrow from the anterior iliac crest. Use the outlet view under fluoroscopy. This picture shows extraction of the bone marrow from the iliac crest. The marrow aspirate is prepared to be centrifuged. Container is closed for the marrow to be centrifuged. After 15 minutes, you can take the sample out and get rid of the bad marrow aspirate. And you can see the red part is the good part that contains stem cells. You can see uh, the good red sample is extracted for injection. It contains the stem cells. We hope we get a lot of stem cells. We locate the non-union under fluoroscopy, we mark the area for injection, and we place a troker into the non-union. Troker is placed and the sample injected into the fracture or non-union area. You can treat different non-unions in the body, but usually it is the tibia that the most problematic.
This is the small site of injection after the procedure is complete. Adult mesenchymal stem cells are not embryonic cells. They are special cells that can multiply, divide, and copy themselves. They can differentiate into bone cells that heal the nonunion and lay down new bone. We can monitor that by alkaline phosphatase activity or by the genes of the stem cells and also the whole cellular mechanism help in increasing the vascularity of the nonunion. Patient with a hardware failure and nonunion. Patient is treated by stem cell showing healing of the fracture. Adult mesenchymal stem cells are not embryonic stem cells. There is a large amount of information about the stem cells that is lacking. Cells should probably be combined with some kind of a matrix. We need a better delivery system. We need a better localization during the injection. The dye may kill the cells. It is probably beneficial to allow the cells to expand and grow to a large numbers in cultures before they are injected. They could be available commercially. The effect of certain medications such as aspirin, plavix, comedin should be studied carefully. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.